how to get your 3D printer's bed to look like this, and the first layer of your prints like this. Hi everyone, today I finally want to make a comeback to this channel with a small video about how I prepare my 3D printer's bed with glue stick. In this image you see my printer, a Creality Ender 3 Pro, which I have owned since around 2018 with few small modifications. I should note that I print mostly PLA and occasional PETG, so my bed requirements are probably not that high. One of the modifications is a glass printing bed. Simple, flat polished glass without structure. After trying methods like tape initially, I settled quickly for glue stick. And in this video I want to show my specific technique to apply the glue stick for the best results that I have achieved. So to do this I obviously need a couple of tools. The first of which is a yeah, glue stick, a relatively inexpensive one. In this case will do fine. Next I will need a large and soft brush. This one is 60 millimeters wide, though the exact size does not matter. And then I also need a plate to prepare it and a little bit of tap water. Before I proceed with the coating itself, however, the bell first need cleaning from the residue of the last coat. For this I just use some water and where needed some isopropyl alcohol to get the residue of the last coat of it. With the print bed being nice and clean now, I proceed with the recoating. First, I take the plate and the glue stick and just put some good amount of glue stick on the plate. Put away the glue stick and I start by adding a little water to the dish which I will now gently dissolve with a brush. So this glue stick is typically um, soluble in water so I can nicely dissolve it. This may take a little time and might be necessary to add a couple drops more as you go along. Just uh, continue until you feel like you've reached a yeah, well dissolved but not too watery solution. Also try not to get any lumps into it. I also do this slowly in order not to have too many bubbles forming, although it's unavoidable and not actually that much of a problem, to be honest. Okay. So once I have achieved the uh, consistency that I want, I then start applying the glue stick with the brush to my print bed. First get a little bit on there and then I'll gently scrub over it front to back, left to right in order to evenly and completely coat the bed. Okay. 
as this first thin layer quickly dries off. I may take a little bit, bit more just in order to get a little more and a little more even on there. Sometimes when it gets too dry in certain places then uh, the brush might drag it off that area and I end up with a kind of clean spot. Um, but if I do use, just use enough to begin with then I shouldn't have any problem. Maybe a dash extra now on top as the final coat. Spread it once more back to front. Don't need to be too careful about the edges because I don't typically use the last few millimeters. Now I'll go and uh, clean out that brush before the glue um, dries in it. And then I will activate um, the printer, set the print bed to about 30 degrees and let the rest dry off on its own. Here you can see a close up just after coating. And here after drying about 10 minutes later. Filming this video I apparently worked a bit too quick and formed more bubbles than usual but this should be no problem for the next few prints. If you try it yourself and you are unhappy the first time, then just apply a thin coating on top. However, in this case I advise to be even quicker, otherwise you'll redissolve the first layer and produce an uneven smear. Maybe in that case it's better to clean the bed again and start fresh. Now to demonstrate how well this works, I will make a little test print. I currently need a small phone stand, so I'm printing a slightly modified version from a design available on Thingiverse, see the link in the description below. I'm printing with a bed temperature setting of 50 degrees Celsius, which I settled on after several tries. At 45 degrees Celsius I started to get issues with the part not sticking, but at 50 degrees Celsius it has never failed for me so far. This gives me then the best performance regarding warm up and cool down time. The print started out well, with some junk stuck at the side that I missed to clean out, but it didn't have any impact. The print then stuck well all throughout, even when going back and forth between the two towers with heavy overhangs. After letting the bed cool down to 30 degrees Celsius, the print started to come off. As you can see here, I still needed a bit of force. If I had waited until fully cooled to room temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius, the print would have popped off on its own. And finally, here's what the underside of the completed print looks like, brim included. I hope you can see the reflections from the window to the right in this video. The bottom surface is extremely smooth and has remained flat without significant bending at the edges. By the way, the overhang here is ugly, I know, but that was not a goal of this print, so I can accept it in this specific case. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope this was interesting and may give those of you working with a simple glass bed some inspiration how you can improve your own prints.